<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you all if you have a PlayStation 3 running PS3 HIN, how you can update not only PS3 HIN, but also update your hybrid firmware or HFW version in case you want to update to the latest version. So this is going to assume a few things. First of all, this is going to assume you have a PlayStation 3, which is running PS3 HIN, and maybe you watched one of my tutorials on how to set it up, and you're needing to update your firmware. So it's going to assume you know the basics of how to navigate your system. So for this, we will need our system with PS3 HIN already installed on it. We're going to need a flash drive, we're also going to need a PC with internet access to transfer over a file, as well as internet access on our PS3. Now, as a few warnings here, we are updating the system firmware. So if you have any crazy cool customizations to the XMB, for example, like a custom boot up or, you know, custom XMB themes on here, something that you've really modified the actual files on your file system and your flash, those are going to be erased because we're going to be updating. On top of that, you might also want to check your firmwares as well too to ensure that any type of homebrew or customizations you're using are going to work just fine on the firmware where you're going to be updating to. To do this, first of all, we can go over to our settings, system settings, system information, and my current firmware is 4.85 but I'm going to be updating to 4.86. So in this example, if you have something that does not work on 4.86 and you really need it, you might want to hold off on a firmware update. So with all that said and done, let's go ahead and get this started. So to do this, grab a flash drive, go over to your computer, and let's download the firmware update that we need. I'm going to have this link down below in the description, but you're going to need to download the latest HFW you want to update your version to. In this case, I'm going to be updating to 4.86. So you can check out this link down below, and for 4.86, as this example is here, we can come over here, check out the 4.86 tab, and this is going to be the file that we need to download. We just need to click on this mega link. Once mega loads this up, you just need to download this, and I've already downloaded this before, but in this case, instead of zip, you would have download, and you can just click this. Now save your zip file somewhere easily accessible. We also need to check the integrity of this, so for this, I'm going to recommend a tool such as WinMD5 or any type of MD5 checker that you want to use. This is specific to Windows, but I'm going to have a link down below in the description. For this, you can just go down here and go to WinMD5 Freeware Download. Again, download this somewhere you can easily access it. So for our HFW file, we just need to right click and extract it into its own folder. Once we open up the folder, it's going to have this empty folder that's going to be the MD5 itself, that's going to be the name of it, and we're going to have the update file here that we're going to flash over. Next up, you can do the same thing with WinMD5, extract it to its own folder. When we open it, we should get a license, readme, and an exe. The exe is what we need. We also need to prepare a USB drive to copy this file over to. So in this case, you can grab a flash drive, right click, format, and make sure you back up any data that you have on here that you care about. If you don't care about any of the data, you can just format it, it will erase it. But you need to keep everything default and change the file system to FAT32. It has to be FAT32 for the PS3 to recognize it. Now what if you have a larger drive such as this, where you right click format, and you don't have FAT32 available? Well, that's because it's a larger drive, and for that, there is another tool that we can use for this if this is the only large drive you have available and this is your only option. This will also be linked down below in the description, and this is for FAT32 format. So, if you want to use this, you can just click on this image here and save this exe file somewhere you can open it. Now, if you're going to do this, make sure you take note of the drive that you're formatting. Mine is H close out of any type of folders that are looking at any folders or any drives or what have you, just close out of these Explorer windows. Now launch this, be sure to do it as administrator, and say yes if this prompt comes up. Take your drive letter, I'm going to use H, and mine's already formatted FAT32, but in this case, I'm going to take my 128 gigabyte drive, keep the allocation the same, and just do a quick format. Now if you have any type of windows like this open, 
this is the air that you can get, which is why I said to close them. So if you get this air, it's because you have something that is looking at this USB drive. Either way, we can simply start, OK, and that's been formatted FAT32. We can now double check this by checking the properties, and as you can see, we are all good. So now for the actual drive contents itself, let's go into the USB drive, and you need to create a new folder on here, call it PS3, all uppercase, go into that folder and create a new one, call it update, all uppercase, and finally inside of your update folder, you need to copy in the update file itself. For this, just take the hfw pup, copy and paste it into this update folder, and now rename this to ps3updat.pup. And this is exactly how it should look. If you need to see file name extensions on Windows, go to View and tick File Name Extensions. But it needs to look exactly like this, and the folder structure is going to be PS3 Update. The last thing we need to do is check the integrity of this. So go ahead, click on this folder, and copy out the name of the folder itself because that's the hash. So we can close out of here, and now on the USB drive itself, you're going to need to make sure that's open, open up your favorite MD5 checker, mine's going to be WinMD5, and then grab the update file from the flash drive itself or navigate to it, drop it in here, and let it check some. Now right here, you just want to paste in the hash that was provided, click on verify, and as you can see, our update is proper. So we can click OK, exit, and now on this, the flash drive is repaired. So we can just right click, eject, and let's take it over to the PS3. Over at your PS3, it is recommended to do two firmware flashes of the update. So for the first one, we can just do it through the XMB. So go ahead and navigate all the way over to settings, go up to system update, go to update via storage media, and make sure USB drive is plugged in. But once it's plugged in detected, you should get this showing that your HFW update is available. So press OK, and we can just continue through here. Accept this, go down, start, and wait for this to copy. Your system's then going to reboot and begin installing. Once it restarts, it's going to take you to this installing screen. Just wait a few minutes for this process to complete. All right, so once our system restarts, we can check our current firmware update here. We should be on a higher system version. And you're going to notice that your enable HIN is now completely gone because technically HIN has been taken off, but that's fine, we're going to be reinstalling it. So for this, just to confirm, you can go to your system settings, go over to system information. And as you can see, we have updated to 4.86, which is what we were trying to do. So now we need to install this one more time, and it's recommended to do this in recovery mode, because if you do it through the XMB here, it might not successfully go. So you could either do it here a second time successfully, or you can do it through recovery mode if that doesn't work. Now for recovery mode, we need to power off our system completely, and then when we turn it on, hold the power button down until your system turns off and then do the same thing and let go when you hear two beeps come from your system. I'm going to show you all how to do that, but go ahead, plug your controller into your PS3 using a mini USB cable and boot into recovery mode. Once your recovery mode comes up, this is where you need to plug in your controller, press the PlayStation button. Now go all the way down to System Update, press the Start and Select buttons, and make sure you have your USB drive with the update plugged in, 
and then wait a few moments for this. It's now going to prepare your update, so just wait for this to pass and then let the system restart. Once the system update screen comes up here, press the PlayStation button yet again, wait for it to check. Now go ahead, agree to this, press the X button, and wait a few minutes. Same as before, once it gets to 100% and restarts, that is a successful update. As per the usual antics of coming out of recovery mode, you'll just go ahead and say yes to this, and say yes again once you can read this screen. So now we've gone through the process of installing the same firmware twice. Fantastic. Next up, let's go ahead and install PS3 HIN again. So for this, go over to your settings, system settings, and if you have not turned off display what's new, go ahead and turn that off. For your internet browser, we're just going to have to change a few settings in case they aren't this already. Press the triangle button when you open this, go over to tools, and first of all, we're going to need to make sure confirm browser close is off. We also need to set the home page to blank and go back over here. Now let's go ahead, delete our cookies, delete our search history, delete cache, delete authentication information, and now close out of your browser. Now with that completely cleared out and everything, we can open up the browser one more time, press the start button, delete this, and let's go to the PS3 exploit site. Look at how it's spelled here, it's spelled exactly like this, and that is exploit without an E. So press the start button. Now this message will always change, but press OK once you read it. And now at this point, come up here, go to PS3 HIN, and you can select either the installer fixed, or you can select the HIN installer alternative. Now the fixed version, it's pretty simple to do. You can go in there, you have to initialize and then install HIN in that order. You can follow that if you'd like to, it's pretty simple, but generally I have a lot better success using the alternative installer. So I'm just going to highlight this, press the X button, and for the alternative installer, we just need to wait for this to load up. Now it's going to start initializing, just let it do its thing. Now just in case either of them fail, I'd recommend pressing the select button, add to bookmarks, and from there we'll have that for our next time. So the second time might be more successful, but you can close out of your browser completely. If it fails out, I'd also recommend restarting your console and then try it again. So let's restart and try this one more time. So after a restart, go to the internet browser, press the select button, go down to your preferred installer, and let it load. Finally, if you're still not having a lot of success with it, you might need to go to the web page, press the triangle button, go to tools, home page, and select use current as your home page. That way, when you start up your browser the next time, you'll launch this page as soon as you open it. And that's generally the highest rate of success you can get. If you are still having issues, you can set this installer page to your home page. Once this has initialized successfully, we can go ahead, follow the instructions here. So we just need to close out of our browser. Now go into remote play. Once you're in remote play, exit out. Now come up to our new icon, which is install hin. Go in here, press X on install, yes and let it download and then install PS3 HIN. Once that's all done, awesome, we can exit out of here, turn off the PS3 completely, and then turn it back on. Now, once you turn your PS3 back on, congratulations, you should have Package Manager as well as Enable HIN. So just like before, we can go into Enable HIN and wait a few seconds for this. Now, as you can see, we are on the latest PS3 HIN available, and everything should be working. I previously had Webman on here, so that's why Webman Games ended up popping up. But as you can see, all of our games are here, all the homebrew, all that fun stuff, and we're good to go. So we've been able to successfully update our HFW and reinstall PS3 HIN to get onto the latest version. Now, for the last thing, if you ended up changing your homepage on your browser, we can change that back just by going into the internet browser, 
triangle, tools, home page, and I'm going to use blank page and exit out of this. And that's about it. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone. Hopefully you all enjoyed this. Hopefully it helped out. If it did, a like would absolutely be appreciated. And if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too.